Hi, it's Timothy Carlson here, and today, for our movie review, we're going back in time to the silent era. One of the all-time great silent classics has just gotten a 4K release courtesy of Eureka's Masters of Cinema series. The movie I'm referring to is the 1920 German classic, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. This widely considered to be arguably the first horror movie, and definitely an interesting one to revisit. Now we've got it in 4K. I'm going to unbox this release, I'm going to share my opinions, and let you know what I think. This is a British release, so I actually imported this from Amazon's UK website. After shipping and everything, it came out to about just under $50. I'm going to, again, unbox what we've got here and let you know if I recommend the release. Here's the cover with the title character and, of course, the female lead. Top of the box is just plain. This side of the box has the information. This is spine number 92 in the Masters of Cinema series. On this side, we have our case as well as the book. The back is just an insert. It's got all the descriptions and so forth there. We take that off and it's just black underneath. I don't understand why the stuff that was on the backing card, they didn't just print that there. That seems a little wasteful and awkward to me. Anyway, we'll pop these open now. We have our book here on the front. We have the Somnambulist Asleep. And on the back, we have him waking up. And this is not just some dinky little insert booklet. This is like 100 pages. And there's tons of great photos and info in here. And I haven't even sat down and read everything that's in here yet. But I think any fan of the movie will be interested in what kind of content they've got in here. I'm really glad to see they really went the extra mile on the book here. As usual, I'm not going to go through every single page, but you get an idea. And there's the spine of the book as well. Now we have our case that has the disc in it. Here's our cover art. You got that really old school style movie poster art. I absolutely love that. And as if that wasn't enough, there's actually reversible artwork. So I'll reverse that and let you see what's on the other side. Okay, here's our reversed artwork. That also looks very nice. If you do that and you flip it around to the back, you've got a list of uh, chapter selects. And here's a description of the film as taken from the insert on the outside of the box. One of the most iconic masterpieces in cinema history, Robert Veen's Das Cabinet des Dr. Caligari shook film goers worldwide and changed the direction of the art form. Now presented in a definitive UHD edition, the film's chilling, radically expressionist vision is set to grip viewers again. At a local carnival in a small German town, hypnotist Dr. Caligari presents the somnambulist Caesar, who can purportedly predict the future of curious fairgoers. But at night, the doctor wakes Caesar from his sleep to enact his evil bidding. Incalculably influential, the film's nightmarishly jagged sets, sinister atmosphere, and psychological emphasis left an immediate impact in its wake. Horror, film noir, and gothic cinema would all be shaped directly by it. But this diabolical tale nevertheless stands alone. Now more mesmerizing than ever in its UK debut on Ultra HD Blu-ray. Now, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari was certainly not the first movie to have you know, spooky kinds of elements in it. But it's the first movie, I believe, where they all came together just absolutely perfectly to create a really chilling, surreal story. The set design of this movie has to be seen to be believed. I mean, there have been all kinds of interpretations of this. I mean, I've read that, you know, supposedly these distorted sets are meant to show the disarray that Germany was in following their loss in World War I. There's also a lot of interesting theories about how movies like this supposedly forecast the arrival of the Nazis and Hitler. I can't say how true that is. Again, those are just certain people's interpretations, but it's a gorgeous looking classic silent film and certainly well cast. The most noteworthy member of the cast is Caesar the Somnambulist, the sleepwalker, who's portrayed by Conrad Veidt. Conrad Veidt would later be known to mainstream worldwide audiences for playing the character of Major Strasser in Casablanca once the sound era rolled around. I don't know that I have ever actually purchased a silent film in 4K before. I don't know if there were any available 
other than this. It's also that rare movie that you know brings about a twist ending, which back then was really unheard of. And these days, it's been copied so much and taken for granted. But back then, this was absolutely mind-bending stuff. And even to this day, I mean, people have their own interpretations of the movie. But how does it look in 4K? Silent films are always a bit of an odd case when it comes to home video releases because many of them weren't preserved very well and you had to undergo pretty extensive restorations just to put them back together. In the case of Dr. Caligari, the first real, like, I guess all of chapter one was missing, so they had to re-edit and recompile that from various sources, and then the rest of the movie is in much better shape. Now, there are some scratches, burn marks, things like that you'd come to expect. The first reel looks noticeably worse than the rest of the film. From there on out, it's generally uphill. That said, overall, I was pretty impressed with how much detail they were able to get out of this release. Silent films generally are never going to look perfect in any format, but I wholeheartedly believe this is the best that we're ever going to see Dr. Caligari look. And if that's the case, I think I can live with that. It makes its 4K ultra high def debut here, and this fan is certainly satisfied with the results. Supposedly, this was mastered from the same source that the Kino Lorber Blu-ray was. I do want to add, too, that there's no HDR on this release, although I don't know if it would have made a massive difference if they had included it. I also don't have an older Blu-ray to compare this directly to, but I am satisfied with what I see here. There's also a handful of featurettes on the disc, including stuff on the restoration, as well as a look at things from you know the restoration team, film historians, and a number of others who share their opinions and interpretations of the film. These features are absolutely worth watching if you're a fan of the movie. I don't know what's new to this release and what's been on older releases of the movie, but I think any fan will want to watch what's presented here. Are you a fan of silent cinema, and where would you rank The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more content because I'm always posting new videos. And make sure you give this one a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. I'll see you next time.